What's going on guys? Steph Monk here. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8, which is going to be coming within the next few weeks or so. And basically we've got some rather interesting information from Hypex, who's a credible Fortnite leaker. And basically we've got some ideas of what Season 8 is going to be about. So, according to Hypex on his Twitter, found something with Tonk Sim. I hope I pronounced his name right. We're making a mummy skin that's currently coming to Season 8, which could potentially be scrapped. And it matches the theme of a POI, a point of interest, coming in Season 8 as well. The POIs and landmarks are, there's most likely more, but these are the only ones that got leaked. Pyramid, which is, which actually matches that m uh, mummy skin as aforementioned. Uh, cubes, um, which is rather interesting, obviously relating to Kevin the Cube. <coughs> and or potentially those um, shadow, I think they were called shadow balls or something like that. Shadow... Shadow Cubes. Yeah, uh, potentially they could be related to the Shadow Cubes and Crash Site. Now, Pyramid, I think the last time we ever saw Pyramid uh, was obviously back at uh, Season X with Sully Steps as a POI. Uh, ex aside from that, I think I, got, I think I may have got some gameplay for this. Uh, there was actually, a, if you remember back in the days where Kevin the Cube was about to flip, make it, like, rotating its way around the map and rolling its way. And just, I think it was before it got to Loot Lake, or during the period uh, between Paradise Palms and Loot Lake, I think uh, there was actually a leaked pyramid that was actually underwater in the middle of Loot Lake, uh, between where the dock was and where Loot Lake Island was at the time. So that's rather interesting. Um, the pyramid could only be visible if you were skydiving or gliding your way above Loot Lake at the time. If I manage to find, I think I've got some images or video on that. I'll show that on screen. Cubes, as I've mentioned, that could potentially be led to um, those shadow, um, shadow cubes or has obviously has relation to Kevin the Cube or multiple Kevin the Cubes rolling their way around the map. Uh, no, I know they're returning at some point in chapter 2 season 7. Uh, crash site. Uh, I think I've covered this in another video, and as I was speaking about the mothership possibly being uh, destroyed by the IO, the Imagined Order. Now, for those who don't know, uh, the Imagined Order do have a underground complex um, at Corny Complex, I believe it's called, and basically also leaked down there. I think they're creating some sort of bomb or detonation device to basically destroy the mothership. Uh, if I, think I've, I think I've seen some leaked images of that, so if I've managed to find it, I'll put it on screen, just to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like. Uh, so it looks like when the mothership eventually abducts uh, Connie Complex, it looks like the bomb that the I.O. are developing are actually going to be abducted alongside with the um, Connie Complex POI. So that's rather interesting there. Um, I think other information that we've got so far are some names and code names of upcoming potential skins from the survey that Hypex I think has done. Uh, I've got like a Dark Drift skin apparently, called, um, like a reimagined skin of Drift, so that's cool. Kevin Coot, oh I'm going to butcher this name, Cooter, Cooter is that his name? So basically Kevin the Cube uh, as a replacement of the head. Got Kevin the cube, like Kevin the cubes, basically all around him. You can see all the runes on him as well. That looks really cool. Uh, got got a Cyber Runner skin, all futuristic and everything with that blue sword. You love to see it. And this one apparently might be an upcoming skin, but we've got no confirmation of that. Called Hacker, so we'll have to uh, see what's going on with that. Galaxy Wrapper might be the next Samsung promotion skin but it will most likely be earned via Galaxy Cups first before it hits the shop as a bundle. So like a tournament skin, I guess you could say. And it already has item shop support, so <clears throat> just like Galaxy Scout. So as you guys can see, Galaxy Grappler, Victory from the Edge of the Galaxy, part of the Chapter 2 Season 7 Event Horizon set, apparently. Could that potentially be the name of the uh, live event that's going to be coming towards at the end of Chapter 2 Season 7? But we'll have to wait and see on that. Hands of the Galaxy, pretty cool. Um, Galaxy Star Blades for textual. Uh, Samsung, uh, the Spain version of the, 
the Spanish version of Samsung on their Spanish Twitter account said new things are coming so that can be really cool to look forward to all epic and legendary ARs, pistols and all snipers have been replaced with their silenced versions for a week in public matches only, tournaments don't count and this is part of the Wild Weeks um, setup <coughs> now we did, uh, Wild Weeks has been uh, in Fortnite in the past uh, doing things like this so I think we're going to get in two weeks of this so this week and next week so this week is going to be focusing on silenced weapons including the Sand Scar, the Suppressed Pistol, and the Suppressed Sniper. They're all back in the game for now. Um, that's only in public matches. Uh, tournament matches don't count. There's also unreleased locations for a map named codenamed Demeter. Or Demeter, is that how you pronounce it? It's in very early development, so it's probably for Survival or Chapter 3. It's going to feature Canoe Shop, Dragon's Maw Cave, Farm, Forest Ruins, Haunted Hotel, Hiking Visitor Centre, Hydro Power Station, Camp, Castle, Mansion, Prison. So that's really cool. It, is, it actually does doubt it is the Chapter 3 map. This one is very small based on the grid IDs that it has. So it might be for a limited time mode or something. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, some upcoming locations of the last one have pretty much aforementioned. Um, this map is big and it has many other landmarks and unfinished POIs, but it's still in the works. Uh, this is for that survival open world map I was sp speaking about previously on the channel. Pintic area, car crashes, airport, castle, high lake cabin, campsite, lumberyard, mountain cave, mines, diner, shacks, tunnel, abandoned hotel, survivor shack, resupply camp, resupply camp storage, resupply camp guard tower, Watch towers, food trucks, parking lots, visitors' huts, military bases, gas stations, boat dock. So that looks really cool. Can't wait to check that out. A few more things here. Uh, some new tiers were added for the sideways monsters that get added to the next Halloween event, according to a Reddit leak. Um, new sideways, weak grey loot, strong blue loot, super strong purple or legendary, zigzag jump scare. So. It could be similar to the Stranger Things or um, collaboration, but we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. And finally, uh, the first storm radius uh, in Team Rumble has been altered or reduced from 135,000 to 110,000. So it's going to be a lot smaller first rings. So, want to know what your thoughts are of this? Please do let me know in the comments box down below. Hope everyone's excited for it. If you are, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please make the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell to not miss any more videos. And don't forget to use my support creator code to the item shop, Deathmonk992. And it's here to start in the description. Until the next episode, peace out.